the story of Adam hides the birth of the white race. And because you and I have never been taught to look into a thing and analyze a thing, we took the story of Adam exactly as it was and thought that God made a man named Adam 6,000 years ago. But today, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that that man, Adam, was a white man. But before Adam was made, the black man was already here. And that's not easy. That's not hard to see. The black man always, the, the white man will even tell you that. Because he refers to, to Adam as the first one. He refers to the Adamites as those who came from that first one. And he refers to the pre-Adamites as those who were here before Adam. Right or wrong. Those people that were here before Adam. And he always refers to these people as ab aborigines, which means what? Black folks. Whenever you never find a white aborigine. White, uh, rather, aborigines are called natives, or they're always dark-skinned people. You and I are aborigines, but you don't like to be called an aborigine. You want to be called an American. <laughs> aborigine actually means from the beginning. It's two Latin words. Ab meaning from, origine meaning the beginning. And aborigine is only the term applied to those dark-skinned people who have been on this earth since the beginning of the universe. You know, that's going way back. You say, what do you mean, uh, since the beginning of the universe? Gasses says, first born among continents, America has been falsely denominated the New World. Hers was the first dry land lifted out of the waters, hers was the first shore washed by the ocean that enveloped all the earth besides, and while Europe was represented only by islands rising here and there above the sea, America Atlantis already stretched in an unbroken line of land from Nova Scotia to the far west. History. America before Columbus. According to documents and approved authors. By P. D. Rue, member of the Archaeological Club of the Land Van Wars and of the United States Catholic Historical Society, honorary member of the American Catholic Historical Society of Philadelphia. Volume 1. American Aborigines. Philadelphia and London J. B. Lippincott Company 1900. Discoveries of Europe by American Natives. Page 163. From which it would appear that about 12,000 Egyptian years before Christ the inhabitants of our continent, through the medium of their relations with the Atlantic Empire, entertained for a long time a regular intercourse with the most important portions of Africa and Europe, nay, that they were the rulers of the old world, until the courage and military skill of the Greeks and destructive elements of nature combined drove them back to the West and into relative oblivion. Let it be added, that if the severe critic, Von Humboldt, does not expressly admit Plato's political relations of the two continents, he yet acknowledges the fact of an eruption into Europe from the West, and of a gigantic war between the peoples of both the East and the West side of the Strait of Gibraltar. D'Arbois de Juvenville, is authority for the statement of another American invasion of Europe. One day, he says, the Aborigines of America concluded to cross the Atlantic, and landed, ten millions in number, on the shores of the Hyperboreans, whom they overpowered at once, and surveyed all their country. They asked information from them in regard to the Eastern world, and were told that the Hyperboreans were the happiest of all nations of Europe, Africa, and Asia. Hearing this, the Americans went back without making any further explorations or conquests. The first record of this remarkable event is from Theopompus of Chios, and was saved by Elianus Claudius. Silenus related to King Midas many wonders of the great continent and of the two cities, Machamus, the warlike, and Eusus, the city of peace, and how the inhabitants of the former once made an attack upon Europe, and came first upon the Hyperboreans, but learning that they were esteemed the most holy of the dwellers in that island, they, had them in contempt, detesting and abhorring them as naughty people, of preposterous properties and damnable behavior, and for that cause interrupted their progress, supposing it an enterprise of little worthiness or rather none at all, to travail into such a country. 
There is what is called the Egyptian theory, pretending that America was settled from Egypt, but John T. C. Heaviside, in his, American Antiquities, or the New World the Old, and the Old World the New, maintains the reverse theory, namely, of the Egyptians being migrated Americans. Queen Mu and the Egyptian Sphinx. And the Egyptians, according to Herodotus, boasted that, their ancestors, in the lands of the West were the oldest man on earth. American master teacher, African student. The present Negro race of Africa perhaps did not originate there, but Asia and Oceania. The earliest inhabitants of Africa were not black but brown. Today the peoples of mixed and unmixed Negro descent living in Asia and Oceania probably exceed in number the present Negro population of Africa. India has millions of Negroes. The purest Negro types are in Southern Asia. In 1923, Drive. Joseph Rock, United States Department of Agriculture discovered a hitherto unknown Negro race, the Naklas, 200,000 in number, in southern China. In 1934, E. W. P. Chinnery discovered an unknown Negro people in New Guinea, near Australia. He reports that they have a civilization superior to their neighbors, who live under white rule. One of the principal reasons for this theory, as Delafosse says, is, all the Negro tribes of Africa assert that their first ancestors came from the East. M. Delafosse. Les Noirs de l'Afrique, p. 6. Paris. There is a translation of this work by F. Flegelman, Washington, D. C. 1931. This was true even of ancient Egypt. The celebrated Negro Queen of Egypt, Hatshepsut, sent an expedition eastwardly to Punt in Arabia, from which land the Egyptians believed their ancestors came. Of the Bushmen, the Hottentots, and other original Negroid natives of Africa, the Catholic Encyclopedia says, traces of a similar population are found in Europe and at the present day a parallel race is represented by the Negritos of the Andamans, Moluccas, and the islands of the vicinity of Indochina. These little men would therefore seem to have occupied the whole of the ancient continent Africa they look on themselves and are looked on by their neighbors as the first owners of the earth. Volume. I. P. 182. Sir H. H. Johnston, one of the foremost authorities on the Negro, says, the deductions, point rather to India as the original birthplace of the Negro. Negro in the New World, pp. 24-27, London, 1910. See also. H. J. Peak. Early Steps in Human Progress, p. 23, London, 1933. J. F. Rock's discovery of the Chinese Negroes is mentioned in the New York Times, November 26, 1933. E. W. P. Chinnery and his discovery of New Guinea Negroes, New York Times, 1900. The first dictionary published in America is the Noah Webster Dictionary of 1828 describes the original inhabitants of America. American, N. A native of America, originally applied to the aboriginals, are copper-colored races, found here by the Europeans, but now applied to the descendants of Europeans born in America, especially to inhabitants of the United States. The physical characteristics of the American Aborigines are generally admitted to point toward affinities with people belonging to the Pacific region, rather than with those bordering the opposite coasts of the Atlantic Basin. The nomads and fishermen of Siberia are more like Hyperboreans than any existing European people, and certain features recall the Melanesian inhabitants of the Pacific Islands rather than the African Negro races. Ancient Mayans kidnapped from Central America and sold as slaves to southern states, in N. Carolina, S. Carolina, and Virginia, British Honduras to Belize. Transformation of a nation. Their land was taken away from them they were enslaved and exploited. And their traditional way of life was profoundly affected by the intrusion of foreigners from Europe who also regarded them as inferior to whites, a common experience of colonial subjects at the hands of their conquerors around the world. In the area that is now Belize, the Maya suffered and died under Spanish occupation. They were massacred and fled into the dense forests of central and western Belize for security. The British buccaneers and pirates also attacked the Maya along the coast of Belize. They raided and destroyed most of the Mayan settlements along the coast. They also stole food, enslaved the Maya, and kidnapped Mayan women and children. 
some Mayans were even sold as slaves to British plantation owners and settlers in Jamaica. Some were also sold to slave masters in the southern states of the United States, especially North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia. The region was a land of suffering for non-whites but also of prosperity for settlers from Europe. Attempts were also made to improve relations between the rival European powers in the region when Spain granted the British settlers the right to occupy the area that is now Belize. Spain also allowed the British settlers to cut Godfrey M. Wakeak Logwood in exchange for an end to piracy. View source record on the online archive of California. Title. Dance of Indians at Mission in San Jose, New California. There were very few migration legends amongst the Californians most believed they had sprung from Earth where they had always lived. Creator. Tilesius von Tylenau, Wilhelm Gottlieb, 1769-1857, German, artist, attributed to Langsdorf, Georg Heinrich von, 1773, German, artist. Date created and or issued. Between 1803 and 1807. Publication information. Bancroft Library. The Negro Farmer. As a common laborer also the Negro has borne his part in the development of the economical resources of the South. He has built the railroads and levees, has hewn lumber in the forests, has dug phosphate rock on the coast and coal in the interior. Wherever there has been a development of labor industry calling for unskilled labor he has found a place. All these have come been to turn him from the farm, his original American home. African American, is a federal government term describing property, not a race of people. Property has no race classification. Property has no human rights. Example, Trayvon Martin was considered property owned by the United States of America, which is a corporation, and he had no human rights. African American, is a 14th Amendment citizen, made property by Executive Order 13037, signed into law by Bill Clinton. In 2010, a so-called African-American black discovered that his family bloodline was type O. Like many dark people living in Memphis and his family descended from Mississippi, Tennessee, Arkansas regions, which is the historic homeland to hundreds of thousands of dark-skinned indigenous people who the Spanish invaders called Indians or Indios. Unfortunately, because they were dark Indians, the U.S. legally unlawfully classified each as Negro. This is what we are faced with. And this is a reality. Now, when we come to Washington in this campaign, we are coming to get our check. 